Hi guys, welcome to Wonders World. I can't believe you guys are actually in my home but what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to try and speak about the ideas that I have for my house um, obviously it's an unfinished home tour as you guys can tell from the description of this video um, so I'll try and speak about what I, the little bits I want to do to finish it off and whatnot. Um, if I haven't spoken about where I got something from please make sure to follow my home account Instagram Wonders World which I'm going to put right here same with my YouTube and there you can find where every single thing is from <laughs> literally every single thing um, because I've tagged the picture so make sure you follow that account guys um, let's just get into this video bedroom um, semi-detached house um, it's got three bedrooms three toilets um, one ensuite one bathroom one toilet downstairs and it's got two garages at the back which unfortunately I can't show you guys today because I am filming in the evening so it's a bit dark um, but anyway let's just carry on anyway so when this, once you get in this is where all my guests hang their coats or where I just hang my everyday coats and whatnot and keep it stepping Next is the downstairs toilet. Nothing exciting, guys. Um, it's literally got not much in it. I'll just let you have a look because I can't really come in. It's quite small. It's got a very long, large <laughs> um, mirror on this side of the bathroom, toilet, sorry. It's got my little caddy thingy I got from Pound Stretcher. That's got all my little bits in it. It's literally got wipes, toilet duck, and yeah all those little bits what i want to do in here guys i'd like to get a radiator cover um and put some picture frames up here and some shelving and yeah i need to make it look a little bit more exciting than this <laughs> um but my very stylish <laughs> toilet roll holder um where people can actually put their phones whilst they're doing a number one or two um got that from home sense so you guys are coming to my favourite room in the house, my beautiful kitchen. I'm going to insert a picture of what this kitchen looked like right in this corner. Um, so this is starting with my breakfast bar table. Um, I got this made. This is not actually bought from anywhere, guys. This is from this is a worked off my IKEA that I actually sized and you know put. I bought separate legs and I asked my. Um, I asked my handyman to put that put this together for me. How cute is this plant? Guys, I bought this today and I haven't found a home for it yet. That's why it's just gonna sit right here um, for now. Um, these are just candles and diffusers because this is where I work. This is where I do most of my work. Going on to my um, beautiful bar stools. These are from Furniture123. Um, I just love the color, guys. How beautiful is the color? Um, look, have a look at it, look. I think it's such a beautiful colour. And it's, it's so comfy guys, like seriously so comfy. This is where I sit down to have a nibble, have a snack, do a bit of my work. So that's that. Going on to this corner, this is where my little bin area is. I'm not gonna open my bin, but I absolutely love my bin. I feel like it's the perfect size, I hate big bins <laughs> that take so long to get filled up and it just thinks up the whole place. I got this kitchen towel dispenser, kitchen towel holder, whatever you want to call it, from Danau and I think it's so cute. If you, I don't know if you can tell what I've done here guys. So this is a little white heart pattern and if you look right here, I've got white heart dangling from the window and if you look in this corner, got a white heart so I've got sort of like a white heart thing going on here um I've also got these little plant pots things going on and the famous Ikea plant that's just right here what's in here is my um boiler 
<laughs> nothing exciting. Um, this is a white gloss work top from Ikea. Um, and this is what I settled for, guys. And But do you know what? I actually love it. Um, I just thought it was either going to be white marble or a white gloss work top anyway. So I'm really happy with it. Um, this is my cute tap. Um, I actually wanted one of those big ones with the swivel things around it. But I just thought, do you know what? It's, I don't want to do too much in my kitchen. Um, so I just settled for, not actually settled, I, actually, I absolutely love it. It's nice and simple. And I also opted for a big sink. Um, I The previous sink that was here was those double sink thingies. But you know what? I just thought, what am I even going to use it for anyway? So I just thought, you know what? Just give me a massive sink. And that's exactly what I did, what that changed. What's in these cupboards? Actually, let's start in this cupboard. This is where I've got all my extras at the bottom and my um, washing machine bit. This is just a washing machine. And when you come here, this is all my cleaning products, guys. Um, I don't know if that's a lot, I don't know if that's, but that's enough for me. Um, this is a dishwasher. I've got a dishwasher in here. And going on to my beautiful towel now, I don't know if you guys can see what I did here. I was going for a little bit of a marbly white rose gold theme. I was going to go for just black, grey and white and I just thought, you know what, it's a bit boring, let's just go for something else. And I just thought, I, and as soon as I saw these knives, fell in love with these knives and I could not let go of these knives. It was either these ones or the white and rose gold ones. And I thought, you know what, I'm, let's put a bit of black in the kitchen. So, because I couldn't let these go, I had to find little bits to match my knives. And that's how I ended up with these kitchen, um, these little dispensers and my microwave. Going up to this cupboard, my cupboards are a bit messy, guys, quick disclaimer. Maybe you guys can help me um, tidy up a little bit one day. But that's my snacks. This is all my little breakfast bits. Um, this has got all my kitchen hardware it's got all my glasses and all my plates and that's about it in here this is my friday night saturday night cupboards <laughs> it's got all the drinks that i basically need i'm not an alcoholic guys but it's good to have a variety and it's good to entertain guests where it's possible in here i've got my pots and a bit of some of my cleaning cloths just hanging on the corner. Nothing exciting. And if you come here, you've got all, this is probably the most organized <laughs> um, cupboards there is in the house at the moment. Yeah, it's got all my um, spices and all the little bits and bobs that I've got up there. And if you come right behind there, it's just literally my fridge. Do I have to show you guys what's in my fridge? Right on. I didn't actually tell you guys the idea that I have in here. Um, you guys are going to see a large picture frame in the living room, but that's not for the living room, it's actually for here. What I want to do here is I want to get large, a large picture frame and a smaller one, just two picture frames, just a larger one, just one that's slightly smaller and just put it up there. Um, and I think behind the door I might get something hanging up there as well. Guys, I feel like it's so satisfying how my um shoe storage fits so perfectly in this corner i'm not gonna lie it took me a while to find the perfect size for this corner because i knew i needed some sort of shoe storage in this corner um so i found this one from made made.com i believe it's called and it's just literally got my go-to shoes in here um and you've just got a few decorative bits guys can i just speak about these vases i just absolutely love them they're from amazon um love them and i've just got some artificial eucalyptus leaves to just go in there it was plain before they look quite cool plain as well but yeah i just ended up putting some um eucalyptus leaves in here this is my hallway um going on to the living room guys this is my living room area and my comfy sofa. This is my corner, guys. This is the corner that I sit and watch shows, the corner that I put my feet up and everything like that. But let's just show you around the room. Um, I got these sofas from, I got them from Sofa Club. 
Um, what I like about these sofas, they're very comfortable, they're quite firm as well. They're not those ones that you sit and then your whole body sinks into it. Um, what I like about them, guys, is I like the way the chair handles goes outwards. I think it's quite cool. But guys, let's just talk about my rug for a second. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love my rug. It's so fluffy, such good quality. It's very, very dense and heavy as well. Um, I absolutely love my rug. I got this from the rug seller. Um, this is the... This is the frame I was talking about that I said that would go in the kitchen. I have put this together. Um, I got this from Chelsea Prints and I got the frame from Desenio. Um, as you can see, it's for the kitchen because it's a Chanel Cafe mug. And that's gonna go in the kitchen together with something else. But when I do a finished home tour, you guys will see what I did in the end. A lot of people do ask me, um, where did you get your wallpaper from? But guys, this is not wallpaper. It's actually paint. I got this from, it's metallic paint that I got from Imperia, Imperia, Impera, Impera Italia. I just need you guys to see the details of the paint. I actually painted this with my partner. Um, a lot of handwork, but we got, got there in the end. I can't wait to find the most amazing green artificial plant for these planter pots. I think these plant pots are so stunning. I got them from Matalan. Um, and what I'm trying to do, guys, I'm trying to add a bit of black into the home. Um, but this is my pampas grass, guys. That's that corner. And of course, some Chanel books. I do love this magnifying glass. It's a very beautiful decorative piece um, for home styling. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's so cute, guys. Just look at that. Just to show you guys the view from this corner. I literally sit here like a lot, really and truly. I'm actually going to turn that lamp on in a minute and show you guys what that's like in the room. Oh, my little niece called it. She goes, oh my gosh, you've got a Pixar. And I was like, oh yeah, it is actually a Pixar lamp. Um, I got this from a random shop in Kent. Um, but I realised that the shop is actually called Home Plus. It's not a shop I've heard of before and it's not a shop that's very popular, but I got this piece from there. When people buy designer books, they always choose this Tom Ford book. And I feel like it's because it's the largest book. I don't know if you can tell how large it is, but it's such a massive book. Um, this corner is just a little candle corner. I've got some little wax burners, wax melt burners in that corner. And also some candle holders that I'm never gonna put candles in because I just think they look stunning on their own. Um, and um, very mini. J Malone candle as well. Absolutely love these pieces. And this is the view from this corner. I can't wait to put some frames along this wall. I just need to show you guys my chandeliers. How stunning are they guys? I actually got this from, and as you can see, I've got two of them, but because I've got a mirror in the back, um, it shows that I've got four, but yeah, I've actually got two. I got this from Debenhams, guys. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. In this corner, again, I've again got that famous Ikea plant. And that's just it. I might put something pretty on this corner or a nice frame down that wall. I'm not sure yet. But I'm just, I think I want to do like a picture frame edition because the next step is for me to get some cute picture frames for my house and put it all around the house and show you guys what I do with them so I can't wait. The back of my living room is literally, I don't know whether to call it my dancing corner, but this is literally where I sit, if I wanna look, look, at, look at the mirror, if I wanna work out and I lay the mat here, um, if I'm dancing. Um, I absolutely love the symmetry, guys. What it does is that it opens the room and it, uh, uh, makes the room look bigger than it is, so I absolutely love this mirror. When I was um, viewing the house, this was something that caught my eye, I just thought I've got to have it. What you have here, I haven't got my curtains yet. If you follow me on Instagram, um, guys, you'll know that I'm in the process of choosing the colour curtains that I want. I'm not sure whether I want white curtains or silver curtains, but I do want something quite bright. Um, so if it's silver, that's still quite bright, right? Um, and if it's white, it really opens up the space because it's white. Um, and this is just gonna, these are my curtain hold mats and what have you. 
I do apologize for the fact that you can't see my garden, guys. But actually, I did film in the daytime um, and then stopped. So I will show you what the garden looks like right now. So have a look at that. So that's the garden. And yeah, I actually love the space, guys. So. So this is my living room, guys. Can you see like it just doubles the space absolutely love it right behind the door we have some storage it's not a very exciting space guys but what i have in here is just very handy things i do have a condenser in here um i've got my condenser i've got my um hoover i've got my mop bucket i've got some shisha you know to entertain the girls and the lads um so i've got a shisha pipe in there because i do have a shisha box with all the shisha bits in there and that's another story for another day but yes my condenser i don't know if people know the difference between a condenser and a um a dryer um basically it's the same but one of it goes through the pipes and one of one of it one of it is just a plug and this one's just a plug very handy to have it in here guys honestly so handy and it smells amazing in here because i have my condenser in here and all the products that you can just smell it, it smells amazing i do have quite a few bits like cleaning bits in here as well such as my dustpan that i just use for quick cleaning and my sprays that i make the house smell <laughs> um, i don't know whether i should have started upstairs and ended up downstairs but yeah anyway let's just go upstairs So guys, as soon as you come upstairs, you come into my beauty room. Yay! I absolutely love this space, guys. This is the room where anything beauty goes down. <laughs> Hair, makeup, even filming most of my YouTube videos. This is the only room that actually gets dirty and is allowed to get dirty um, because I don't really do anything hair or makeup outside of this room. It just happens all here and that's the reason why I got wooden floors um, so that it's easy to clean, easy to sweep. I did have a bit of a silver theme going on here but I'm in the process of changing it to a gold theme. So I've changed the lanterns from um, silver lanterns to a gold one and I've also changed my orchid from a um, silver base one to a gold vase one. And what I want to do guys, which is very scary and I might show you guys on YouTube, I'd like to spray the legs of this, this chair grey, sorry not grey, gold, um, just so it can go with the whole gold thing that's going on here. You can't really see it but the bin also has a gold pattern as well. This room's got white wallpaper, you can't really tell because um, it's so subtle but it's absolutely stunning. It's one of my favourite bits of the house, my glitter wallpaper. I'll show you guys what it looks like close up. Actually, let's switch the light off and you see what it looks like. Yeah, so two of the walls in the two of the walls in the room had this glitter wallpaper. I don't know if you guys know, but I am a sucker for an orchid, but that's my little orchid, so I think it's so cute. Um, this is my ring light that I use to take all my pictures. Um, yeah, I just do everything, pictures and beauty in here and this is very handy as you guys know and um, these are all my little straighteners um straighteners hot comb planning wand and of course i've got all my beauty products in here it's actually in a box called a beauty box i got that from um home sense so it's just suited to this room and my stunning mirror <laughs> Guys, I absolutely love this mirror. It did cost me a lot of money, but that's because this mirror does a lot of things. It plays music, it's got, an, it's got speakers inserted in here, um, Bluetooth speakers inserted in the mirror. So it's very handy when I've got, I'm doing people's hair or I'm doing my makeup and I just connect my phone to the speakers and it plays music, absolutely beautiful. It's also got some mood lights going on at the back, but I, don't, I never need the mood lights, so I never really use it really but it's also a very good size. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can literally see 
my full body in the mirror um it's a lovely it's a perfect size i'd say um what this cabinet has people actually think this is the fridge sometimes this cabinet has quite a few bits i'm going to show you guys what this cabinet has it's not the most organized cabinet but guys i also color hair in this room i don't know if you can tell by the cabinet but it's a bit damaged but i also color hair in this room and it's very easy to get um hair dye off the floor so this is just a perfect room for all everything beauty and all of that stuff i am warning you guys it's not the most tidy cabinet but anyway it's got all my combs and bits in this little basket all my head scarves and head ties in that corner um the top of it has all my wigs stashed don't do this at home guys don't do this at home clients just don't do it but it's got all my wigs stashed up there um some recording bits at the bottom um down here has got some extras because i don't live in london anymore guys so i do stack up on a few bits and i've got just all the extras still going on here and a wig block head just sitting right there um here has got all my makeup brushes i do need to clean in here it's very very dirty um because all the brushes touch the back of the cupboard but yeah absolutely love this cupboard very handy um and here probably more organized i do have some cleaning products in here for this room and i have some clients wigs in that basket as well um and that's my beauty room so following on from the beauty room is my hallway my very bare hallway um guys i don't tell me what you think but what i want to do actually i'm going to show you guys in a minute in a minute but what i want to do here I would like some sort of paneling going straight across and I would like to paint the bottom grey because I just feel like here is very white. Um, so I'd like to paint the bottom of it grey with some paneling going across. I would like to have a shelf here with some little diffusers or something because I feel like it's just hallway you want to sniff something nice. And maybe a clock, I do want a clock here as well um i don't know if you guys can tell but i did change all the light switches in my house to white glass um i absolutely love this i love my light switches i think they're so cute um anyway so up there is the loft don't know if you guys can see but that's the loft we're not going to go in there because i'm scared and there are probably a lot of spiders in there but it's actually quite a very large space up there i've been up there with my builder guy and it was a large space I'm not sure what i'm going to go and do with it but i have a loft um in here is another storage cupboard and what i have in here not again not the tidiest but i have some spare towels some bedding in these baskets um some spare bits for the bathroom and just ad hoc iron steamer yeah you know that's what this this part of the um cupboard is for bringing you guys on into my guest bedroom this bedroom just to give you the warning is not finished as well um it's only pretty much got a bed in here and i'm sorting a lot of my winter clothes i'm going to show you guys just let me just show you look <laughs> these are the bags and bags of winter clothes that i'm sorting that's going to go in the garage what I need to do, I don't know if you guys know about these bags, but these are those bags that you can literally suck all the air out of and it goes so flat. It's such a good um, storage technique. It's literally going to flatten these bags to like this thin. <laughs> so um, I've got so much to do. Um, let me know if you want me to show you guys the process um, on YouTube and I will show you guys. Um, but this is literally the bed that people sleep on when they come to my house i actually had a chandelier for in here previously and i took it down i'll show you a picture of the chandelier that i had in here right now i'm going to put it right here um so yeah but i took that down but i do think that that chandelier does suit this room this bedroom but guys what i would recommend is wait till you've sorted out the room before you choose a chandelier because the chandelier might not end up being the type of chandelier that you want for your decor but that's a quick 
pip but to be honest the one I did put in here does match the bedroom um, but I took it down don't know if I regret it yet but you know I might find something nice I am thinking of putting um, a TV up on the wall for my guests I'm not sure yet I don't know if they are, <laughs> I don't know if my guests are that lucky yet but yeah it's something that I am thinking of um, guys look at that little square that's like a perfect square and ignore that because somebody did that what I'm going to show you guys is the storage space because this is actually an ottoman bed this is actually an ottoman bed guys so I've got a lot of storage in here because you guys are probably wondering where are all her things and I do have a lot of things this is a very comfy bed <gasps> anyway I do have a lot of things guys but um <laughs> I do have a lot of things guys but um they're all underneath this bed do you want to see okay let's just, let's just show you because this is an ottoman bed this is where I put oh Ta-da! <laughs> all my things I've got spare cushions up there for the bed um a beauty box some shoes that I don't wear very often, some heels in the corner, some bags that I don't wear very often, some spare hair dye. Basically anything can go in here. A toolbox. Um, well that's literally what's underneath this bed. And as you can see, the bed is still intact. Um, and that's literally it guys. These are my, this is my spare bedroom. And now let's just go into the guest bathroom. So from the guest bedroom we're going to the guest bathroom because you know it's only right you talk about the guests <laughs> so this is the guest bathroom and guys although this is the guest bathroom there are days where I feel like I want to be in this bathroom um I feel like it's very cozy it's very homely there's something homely about it and in the winter for some reason I'm not sure whether the boiler is underneath here but the towels get a little bit warm um it's not heated floors but it does get a little bit warm so I do love it in here and um, what I want to do in this bathroom you're probably thinking uh, Steph it is finished no it's not um, because I do have water splash on the floors when the guests use it so I'm trying to think of I don't want to get rid of this so I'm thinking of either getting a, um, a shower pole and just put the curtains this way because when you use the shower it splashes this way so I'm thinking of putting a shower pole and put shower curtains and do it that way. Or second option is to have a a shield. So you guys let me know what you think is best, a shield or a shower curtain. I'm not sure yet, but I absolutely love this bathroom. I do have little conditioner, shampoo and um, shower gel dispensers for my guests um, if they need that. Um, here I've got some hand wash and some diffusers, nothing major. What's what's in here is literally girly bits and, and just a little cloth to wash to wipe their hands if they need be. But this this is a space that literally stays the same. <laughs> That's probably why I love it so much because it doesn't change. Um, can we just speak about the mirror though? Let's just talk about the mirror a little bit because I absolutely love the mirror in here. Look how large and wide it is i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like the theme in my house has like my house has a lot of mirrors um something that i do love yeah i absolutely love it guys love this room also i don't think i spoke about my lights i do have spotlights in this guest toilet also one in down the hallway i do have um spotlights what i wanted guys i did want to put a large chandelier going down here However, I changed my mind because this is not my forever home. So I thought, let's just keep it simple. And yeah, I think it works, to be honest with you. So going on from the guest toilet into my bedroom. You guys don't understand. I can stay in my bedroom for days. <laughs> I can stay in my bedroom for days. Why? You're probably thinking, Steph, why? Like, there isn't anything here for you to play with. Actually, if you press this, I do have a television in my bedroom. This is where I watch all my Netflix and all my stuff. This is a TV bed. Um, I got this bed from eBay, guys. It's a very comfortable bed. And I got my mattress from Dreams. 
I'm not gonna lie, my mattress cost a lot of money, but it was so worth it. Guys, invest in a good mattress, because this is something that you're probably not gonna throw away for years or even the rest of your life, you never know. But this is literally, yeah, my TV, and where I watch all my Netflix and everything. What I want to do in this bedroom, I don't really know what I want to do in this bedroom. Um, I've thought about a few ideas. I'm not sure where I'm going to land. <laughs> um, but this is a double bed as well, guys. I don't think I said. Um, what I want to do, I do want to put a curtain roll here. Um, I do want white curtains. I kind of want to get rid of this grey wall. Um, I do kind of want to get rid of this grey wall. I'm not sure yet. Um, only because I'm thinking to have some panelling going on around, going on on this side of the room. It's not a massive bedroom and my bed, my bed is not bang in the middle of the room. So I think it's only right to make a large feature wall for the whole wall. Um, obviously it's got my dressing table on this side. And let me tell you, it took me ages to find the bedside tables that would fit in the little space that I had to work with. But we got there in the end and I've got a very beautiful lamp from I got this lamp from Iconic Lights. I think they're so beautiful. I don't know if you can... It's so me and it goes with the theme. It just goes with the theme. It's just perfect, guys. That's my little perfume collection. There's normally more than that, but because of quarantine, I'm not buying any new perfume at the minute. I do have the same mirror in my bedroom um, as my beauty room. Um, only because it's only right that it matches. It's a small... It's a small, it's a smaller version and this one doesn't play music only because I've got a TV in my bedroom so there was no point spending the extra cash, um, yeah, for in here. But this is my dresser, it's a seven, a seven drawer one so I've got all my, I've got tops in there, tops in here, I do roll my clothes guys, shirts in here, some trousers in there. Um, yeah, so it fits most of my stuff. Um, absolutely love it. And my little fan is from Danelm, guys. Absolutely love my beautiful fan. Um, and let me just show you guys my bed a bit more. You guys would... I don't know if you guys would know. These tubs on my bed didn't come with the bed. I actually upcycled it myself. Um, oh, just switched the light off. I actually... Um, upcycled it myself so this is literally it and I'm not gonna I have to talk about my rug because it's so fluffy my sheepskin rug I don't know if you guys have seen this before but it's I'm sure you have they're everywhere but I got mine from the Elm. um I think it's absolutely amazing quality um it's stayed fluffy ever since I think it was even fluffier before but it's still very very fluffy and I do Hoover it as well, love it. Um, I don't really get ready here, in case you're wondering, why do you have a dressing table here if you have a beauty room? But can you imagine if I've got guests in here and they were using my beauty room and I just needed some privacy to just get on? You know, that's the reason why this is here and that's the reason why I have this here, so I can still do my makeup in this corner whilst everyone else uses the beauty room. But when no one's here, because I do live by myself, guys, I don't think I mentioned I live by myself. Um, when no one's here, I do use the beauty room. So anyway, um, so actually I didn't speak about my wardrobe. Behind the door, I know you're probably wondering, where is your wardrobe? I do have to get that question a lot. This is my wardrobe, guys. Should I show you guys in here? Yeah, go on then. It's not organised yet, but you guys might, when, I'm, when I am organising in here, um, I'll probably bring you guys along with me and show you guys what I do in here. This is my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, horrendous. I think that's as much as you're going to see guys so that's my wardrobe and that's where my wardrobe is looking off on the bedroom is my ensuite which is very easy of course guys it's grey I absolutely love it in here and it smells amazing in here and it always smells amazing in here obviously I've got a diffuser in here as well um, toilet, sink and shower I'll show you guys what the shower looks like <laughs> Yes, of course, guys, I've got mirrors. I know um, I do have a mirror theme going on in my house. 
and when I'm on the toilet doing a number one or two this is where I sit and I think mm, I just think about life and just think about things really um <laughs> but this is the shower it is one of the ones that's got the top and the handle as well yep that's it and I've got my lotions and potions as it says right here I did get this from Home Sense again and some an oud candle and another mirror yay yes yeah, so I absolutely love I love my ensuite guys quite simple and you know less is more I think it's beautiful got spotlights in there I don't think I spoke about the lights I've got in here I do have a chandelier in here um, I got this from Debenhams so that's where I've got that from um, I didn't I don't think I spoke about what I want to do to this wall but I do want to do kind of like a gallery thing going on here and I am going to do that pretty soon and I'm going to show you guys um, I'll probably show you guys unboxing um, the items and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the end and that's it guys this is literally my humble abode um, I hope you enjoyed my home tour I know a lot of you were asking Steph do a home, home tour are you going to do a home tour I hope it's not intrusive but are you going to do a home tour and here it is guys your home tour <laughs> Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. It's still an unfinished home tour because I am still trying to finish this house. Um, as you guys know, I do live on my own so I have taken my dear time to renovate, furnish and do everything really. Um, so it's been a journey and um, I have had, I bought the house on, I got my keys on the 25th, 25th of February last year. Um, so it, it has been a year. Renovation took me about eight, nine Saturdays. It was quite quick, but yeah, it took me eight to nine Saturdays, which was amazing. Um, and here we are, guys. If I have not mentioned where I bought anything from and you saw something that you liked, please be sure to follow my Wonders World um, Instagram home account where you find all the little bits that are tagged. And if they are not tagged, please make sure you DM me to get all the info and I will respond but I hope you guys enjoy that and please make sure you like comment and subscribe now that I've showed you guys my home and done the home, the home tour I can finally show you guys all the different bits that I, I do with the home and I and that's something I've been trying to do like I but I couldn't because you guys would have seen the house and although there are pictures of my house on Instagram it's not the same when you guys follow me around the house um, but now I can show you guys like when I do upcycle things, when I'm tidying things up and when you can do a little bit of a clean with me, when I'm trying to organise stuff. Basically I'm going to show you guys a lot of home content now. You're probably thinking where is the home interior content that she was talking about. But here it is guys and I'm very excited for this journey. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when I am going to post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles!